Annual and perennial clovers provide nitrogen, increase forage yield, and extend the grazing season, says Don Ball, Auburn University Extension Forage Specialist, in a video interview with Forest Laws on behalf of Hay and Forage Grower. At the recent Sunbelt Ag Expo, Ball told of an Auburn study comparing stalker cattle production among 37 forage systems, legumes, including clovers, provided high forage quality and improved animal performance. In most of our pastures are based around grasses, especially perennial grasses. However, forage legumes are special plants and they really have a great deal to offer uh, in forage programs. Of course, one of the benefits is biological nitrogen fixation, and uh, that topic has uh, uh, created a lot of interest uh, in growing legumes, such as clovers, uh, in recent years due to rising nitrogen prices. Uh, the question always arises, well, how much nitrogen is a forage legume going to produce? It varies, of course, but uh, often an annual clover will produce uh, 50 to as much as 150 pounds of nitrogen per acre from a good stand. With a perennial clover, uh, it may be as much as, uh, in the range of 75 to even as much as 200 pounds per acre. So that's a huge benefit. Uh, just from that one particular trait. Uh, in addition, uh, often forage legumes will increase forage yield. Uh, for example, uh, a perennial clover can, can often increase the yield of a, uh, of a cool season perennial grass, uh, especially if that grass otherwise would not be getting very much nitrogen fertilizer. Uh, in addition to that, uh, clovers can often extend the grazing season and of course uh, the cost of feeding animals when pasture is not available is uh, typically the highest cost associated uh, with raising livestock so that's a great benefit and then last but not least um, when you grow a clover grass mixture you typically are going to get on average higher forage quality and the result of that is better animal performance. We recently uh, did a little exercise at Auburn University where I work in which we looked at stalker cattle production uh, from 37 different forage systems on which we had data. And we calculated pasture cost per pound of gain uh, using our budgets for forage crops to do that. Uh, amazingly, Although only 15 of those forage systems involved legumes, the seven lowest costs per pound of gain and eight of the lowest 10 involved the use of legumes. Most of those involved clovers. So there's no doubt in my mind that using legumes and forage systems where it's possible and feasible is one of the keys to having a profitable forage livestock program. It's a well-established fact that the less stored feed that a livestock producer uh, has to provide to his animals, uh, the more likely it is that he's going to have a, a more cost-effective operation. Uh, in the case of using uh, forage legumes, uh, which can extend the grazing season, but, uh, they also can uh, improve forage quality because the uh, protein content, the energy value, of legumes on average tends to be higher than that of grasses. So um, it offers the opportunity to, on the one hand, uh, perhaps reduce expenses because uh, you can grow legumes and not have to put out as much expensive nitrogen fertilizer. On the other hand, perhaps extend the grazing season uh, and also uh, reduce the total amount of uh, stored feed that has to be provided and, and improve forage quality at the same time. So uh, those are uh, excellent uh, benefits that can be associated with uh, minimizing stored feed requirement, and especially uh, if you can use forage legumes to help do that. Great. Thank you very much, Don. You're